Hello, and welcome to SICK Detroit Customer Center. I'm Nick Longworth, a senior robotics engineer with SICK. This video is part of a series of short videos focusing on the key challenges in bin picking applications when using SICK's PLB product. PLB is SICK's state-of-the-art 3D bin picking software with many algorithms and 3D camera types, types to choose from to solve all bin picking applications. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos. Today, we're going to look at how to align the robot's coordinate system with the PLB coordinate systems. Uh, so essentially, when we communicate with the robot from the PLB software, uh, the PLB software needs to know the coordinate system that the robot is working in. Uh, that way, it can report the absolute position, so the actual point that the robot is supposed to send its tool center point to. Um, to do this, we focus on a, a cone shape here, uh, at least for this particular camera. Uh, the scanning ruler camera is what we're using today. Uh, so this cone that you see in your, your picture here uh, is the type of cone that we'd be looking at. And this particular one is a 115 millimeter diameter with an 84 degree uh, taper on it. So if you were to want to have a smaller cone because you have a smaller application, there's no problem with that. We just go into our settings here under hand eye alignment and we can choose the diameter and the top angle of the cone. Um, so smaller applications, we may go down to a 50 millimeter cone diameter. Um, I have this for other applications where we're picking bolts. But for this camera and this particular setup, this is a good cone to be using. Uh, when we set up the cone on the robot side, we will teach the tool center point at the very tip of the cone. Uh, the robot is then going to come underneath the camera and take uh, 15 images in 15 different locations. At each, Im at each location, uh, the, when we uh, tell the PLB system to add a alignment point and locate the cone, the robot is also going to report where that tool center point that represents the tip of the cone is located. Uh, from that and from those 15 different uh, points that we're going to take, uh, the system will be able, the PLB system will then be able to create a transform between its coordinate system and the robot's coordinate system that we're reporting the tool center point in. That way, again, once we localize a part, we can send the exact position the robot is supposed to go to. So um, there is a way here to, when we, we're looking at this cone, and we can click this button right here. And I'm not going put to put, put in any robot coordinates, but this is just going to run a verify uh, alignment. And so it's going to look for the cone. At the moment here, it's just saying that it failed. That's OK. I didn't add in any coordinates. So of course it failed because it doesn't. it's not in the correct uh, coordinate space here. But this does show me that I can find my cone in this image. Um, that way I know that I'm able to run this without any issues with ambient light or anything like that. So that's a nice feature in our analyze mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the robot here. So you guys can see exactly how this works. You'll see the robot is going to move PLB into an analyze mode, or sorry, a, uh, an align mode. Only the robot can put PLB into this mode. Uh, you cannot do that manually. If I give you a better image here, you'll see the robot's moving up and down. The robot's going to move up in columns. Uh, we're going to do three layers, and we're going to have five columns of three layers. Uh, it's going to kind of look like almost a a small bin that's that's being built by the cone here. And you see at each uh, each image, we're localizing the cone. And then we are also seeing the tool center point that is reported by the robot. So this is the cone type that we use for the scanning ruler and for the, in, which is the PLB 500. And it's the same cone type we would use for the PLB 520, which is our, our structured light camera. Uh, we do have a third camera called the Visionary S. In that case, we actually use a sphere that is uh, kind of snapped around this cone. Uh, the, the Visionary S is meant for high-speed applications in logistics, so its, it's uh, resolution isn't quite the level of the PLB500 or the PLB520. 
So the sphere just helps with uh, localizing that, that uh, object consistently. So you see here, we've completed the, uh, the alignment process here. We got 15 different points. And you, you can kind of build this uh, these 15 points however you want. In general, you just want to have enough X, Y, and Z movement to create a good transform. You wouldn't want to do everything on one plane, for instance. You can see uh, here on the right, our, uh, we, we get a couple of different parameters back, which is our max deviation and our scaling. Uh, I have my max deviation set to a one millimeter minimum. Uh, it will fail above one millimeter. 0.58 is not a, a bad deviation. You can definitely get better than that. Uh, this is an old, older robot, so my deviation is a, a little older, I mean, a little higher because the, the age of the motors and it's probably starting to wear down the joints a little bit here. Um, newer robots I've seen down around 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so there's definitely room for improvement here. So other than that, uh, my alignment is complete here. My, my system now is set up to work with my localizations. If I did end up having a problem, there is a log. Uh, so I can actually bring up a log from PLB. And if you see here, it does tell me a little bit about the cone that's finding. So say it finds something, but it's not matching my 84 degrees. I can actually come in here and I can look at my cone angle and see what it's finding, and then I can help match it up. This is just a uh, tool to easy, make it easier for you to uh, set up your application uh, as this log file. All right, so I hope everyone enjoyed this demonstration of aligning a robot with PLB. If you would like your product to be featured in one of our videos, or if you'd like any more information on the PLB product, please use the contact information on your screen. Have a great day.